Hello, welcome to another video. It's unboxing time. So today I'm going to be looking at and reviewing the Garmin RVR315 rear facing radar. Let's see what we think to it. So I think the first time I saw one of the Garmin radars in actual use close up was on the epic 100 mile adventure over Christmas in the minus five. You may remember it. If you've not seen it, I'll put a link above. Have a look at it. 100 miles, minus five degrees. It was a tad cold. Anyway, Jez, who joined us for part of that route, had one. And when we were riding along, she was picking up cars behind us way before myself and Roy heard them. So I was quite impressed. And when I looked them up, how much they were, I thought, oh, it's a bit expensive. If they're half the price, I might be tempted. However, it's nagged away at me over the last few months, how useful one might be. And I had a voucher for Wiggle, so I thought I might get one. But what prompted me was about three, four weeks ago now, I had a close pass, a very close pass. I never heard it coming at all. If I'd have had my elbow sticking out, I think my elbow would have hit the mirrors. But why didn't you hear it? It was a Tesla. It was an electric Tesla. So it just gave virtually no noise as it whooshed by. So electric cars are very much going to be part of the road scene for the next few years, increasingly so. And that prompted me to look at getting one. So I had the wiggle voucher, took the plunge, and I got one. So today, let's have a look at it. So the radar comes with three different mounts to fit a variety of seat posts. So you fit it on the back here, and you can see it's a nice little neat unit. Simply clips on, it's got that 90 degree Garmin mount, and it's pretty solid, as you, as you would expect. Pairing it up with a head unit, it's really easy. Although the head unit, although I'm using a Wahoo, it is really, really easy. So on the Wahoo, we just go down to add settings and add sensor, and just hold it somewhere close to the radar. And in a second, we should find it and pair it. There you go, save radar. Yes, that's it. We've got a couple of screens for text to go through. And it's done. So you can see now on the left hand side there, you've got a grey band. And that is where approaching cars are going to be displayed as I'm riding. So you can see we've got a car coming, we've got an audible beep on the left hand side. There's the car. There it is. There's another one coming. So we'll look now at the car coming and see how far away it was when it picked it up.
So, in the absence of a coffee shop on this ride, it's a Pokenham Village shop, some cold Costa double espresso, and Costa Butcher's pasty, and an OT flapjack. Mm. So I'm about 20 miles in now with the uh, the Garmin radar, and I've got to say, I'm really impressed. I've had no kind of fault signals at all, and it definitely seems to be picking up cars well before I hear them. It claims to pick them up at 140 meters, but I'm sure it's picked a couple up before then. Very impressed. So the battery life on the radar is about seven hours, which, which slightly surprises me to be honest. I would have thought they could have squeezed a bit more life out of it. The actual case for it is relatively large compared to say a Garmin head unit. So you'd think they could squeeze a bit more battery power into it. They may have been concerned about weight I guess. Well, I don't think it will matter that much. Apparently it's 51 grams. That's nothing, is it? One of the things that's very clever about it is it actually picks up more than one vehicle. So if you've got two or even three cars behind you, you'll get two or three cars on the display. So it's a pretty intelligent unit, really. I'm mightily impressed. So all things considered, I've got to say, I am pretty impressed and uh, I definitely recommend you buying one. It's not an inconsiderable investment, but I do feel it is worthwhile. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the version with the light. Having said that, I gather that the light gets brighter as a car comes up behind you. So that's an additional little warning for the car that you are there, I guess. It's quite easy to flick between bikes. If you're using more than one bike, then just a, an additional mount and you can fit to a second bike, no problem at all. I'll drop a link below to the Garmin site. So you've got a full spec on it. And also to Sigma Sports, who stock them. see so many of those are out nowadays do you? I do like a 2CV and Fiat 126s. how far it was away when it started to see it. So if you're new to a channel don't forget to click to subscribe it really helped me out and don't forget to click the bell icon so I'm uh, gonna be 35 mile ride today it's not got as warm as I thought it might do so I'm a little bit underdressed could do with an extra layer but I shall see you again in a few days time. See you soon, bye. this radar.